Hello and welcome to part one in a series of tutorials where I will be showing you how to create your very own PowerPoint presentation using only Python. By the end of this part one, we should have something that looks a bit like this, where you have your PowerPoint presentation saved, ready for the next parts, and you also have a title slide with text filled in as the title, and you also have text filled in as a subtitle. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is delete this PowerPoint presentation because we're going to recreate it together, step by step. Okay. Now, the first thing you'll need to do is install a module called PPTX. Now, PPTX is a, the perfect tutorial for creating PowerPoint presentations. And you'll need to go through the installation processes by you know using the, the normal pip install function and I believe this module is called python python hyphen pptx so it's not just called pptx you need to put pip install python hyphen pptx and then run that and that should install this module for you after you've done that the first thing you need to do to create the presentation is type in from pptx import presentation and that will import the pptx module in the correct way ready for you to use it for the next for this series to create your presentation after you've done that the first thing we need to do is create our powerpoint presentation to add slides to and how we do that is if we type in pr1 equals presentation calling our presentation part that we ins that we imported and then square brackets we will create a powerpoint presentation for our slides to go into and this is this is a very similar concept to the tk inter module where you create your main slide tk for your widget to go into and this is exactly the same concept very similar concept where you have your main presentation for your slides to go into okay and after you've done that i like to go down to the bottom and type in pr1.save and then we have i've created the name called analyst rising underscore ppt underscore tutorial then i've included the extension dot pptx and what i've done here is if you then put that in quotation marks you will then have your first presentation ready to be saved. And what we can do is if we run that now, and then we go to our folder where our file is saved, which reads where our shell reads from for this particular code, we can see here that we've got our presentation saved, but we've got no slides. So the first thing we need to do is create our first slide. And remember, we're not going to be touching any of these buttons here. We're going to be using PowerPoint indirectly through Python. Okay. So the next thing we need to do is create our first slide. So the first thing you need to do, similar to creating a button with your GUI interfaces, is you need to register your slide and then you need to add your slide in. Similar to creating buttons where you have to create your button and then you have to pack or grid it in. Okay, so first thing we do is register our first slide. Okay, so I've created the variable slide one underscore register, and I've equated that to PR1, linking it to our presentation dot slide underscore layouts, which is its own function. So if you type in PR1 dot slide underscore layouts in this case i've got zero zero is our title slide layout and if you want to change it so you have say you know a slide of bullet points or a slide where you want to add a picture you'll just change the layout to be the relevant one so zero is a title slide one is title and content three is section header and so on and so forth if i actually go into the presentation i can show you oh we haven't created our first slide yet, but when we have, I will show you what that refers to. 
Cool. So once we've done that, we've actually registered our first slide. But the next thing we need to do is actually put it in to our presentation. So we can do that by using the add slide function in our PPTX module. And how we do that is if we type in PR1, calling our presentation, dot slides, calling a slide, a function of slides that we're going to add. And if you type in dot add slide after that, add slide, and then in brackets, we're going to call our registered slide, slide one dot register. So we're linking slide one to our presentation, and we're going to add slide, the slide that we've created before. And we've equated that to slide one. Cool. So if we now run our code, and it will just save over the top. So don't need to worry about deleting and then recreating again. So now we've created our first slide. And now I can show you also where our layouts will appear. So this is what I mean when I say layouts. We have zero as our title slide, you know, one is our title and content, two is our section header and so on and so forth. That is what, uh, this function is here, slide layout square brackets. And you just change that number to be equal to essentially this functionality here. Cool. So the next thing we need to do is add text to our slides. So how we do that is we are calling what we call placeholders. So these placeholders are our items in our layout. So our title slide has two placeholders. We have our main title title. Best to show you. So our title slide has two placeholders, which we're going to add text into. This is our first one, our main title. And this is our second one, our subtitle. And we're going to be call calling them placeholders to add text into. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is add a title. So if we type in title equals, that will create our variable title. And we type in slide one, actually let's not call that title, let's call that title one. Calling title one as our main title. And we have equals slide one, calling our first slide, dot shapes. And the shape we want to create is our title. So that will cr create our first placeholder for our title. And then how we add the text is if we type in title one, calling our first variable title dot text equals, and then we can just type in wherever we want in quotation marks. In this case, I've got the name of my channel, Analyst Rising. So what we can do is if we save that and then we open it again, we have our first title. Our main title, Analyst Rising, has been put into our PowerPoint presentation. And so let's just recap what we've done here. Let's go from our text title in Analyst Rising back up to our main PowerPoint presentation to show you how it all fits together. So we've created our text analyst rising that fits into our main title placeholder. And this main title placeholder fits into slide one, which fits into our PowerPoint presentation that we created as our first line of code. So it all fits together pretty neatly. The next thing we need to do is add a subtitle. So what I've got here is I've called our placeholder, as I've called it, sub subtitle as our variable, and I put it into slide one, and I ty typed in slide one dot placeholders, dot placeholders, square brackets one, and that calls our, that creates our placeholder subtitle part, and then we can add some text by, type, by calling our variable subtitle, let's call it subtitle one in this case, Subtitle one dot text equals, and then I've got 
the text subscribe to my channel so in when we run this now we will have a main text analyst rising and a subtext subscribe to my channel so let's run it and let's see our first result for our end of part one cool so notice here we ha now have our main title slide with analyst rising our first placeholder and our main title and we have subscribe to my channel as our subtitle and our second placeholder in the title slide cool so i hope you've enjoyed my tutorial that's it for this part in the next part i will be adding at least two more slides and then i'll be showing you how to add bullet points and also maybe a picture depending on how long it takes to do the previous to add the two more slides and bullet points so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please share it to other people who you feel may benefit from this other analysts or other people who are just interested in coding and programming or just other people who have like a thirst for knowledge thank you very much for watching